Hello, Leo. Welcome back. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm just going to take a general look into you. What's going on with the Leo? I'm not focusing on anyone else specifically. Um, we'll just see kind of what we get here. Okay, now you know it's a general reading, so take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading, link to my website is in the description box below. I Now I do, before I get into it, I would like to say in the pre-shuffle, there's some sort of change coming. Change to a person. This could be a person from your past. Mm. I don't sense that it's you. No, I feel like this is someone else. This is, and... Um, I'm getting that in order to deal with whatever is coming or in order to deal with something from your past, if this person isn't physically coming to the forefront, if it's just a memory, uh, you have to be very logical. You need to remove, it, um, you need to see this from a logical standpoint of view not an emotional one they're saying. So however that would resonate for you. I also do feel that there could be a, perhaps an air sign or a water sign that is could, could be significant in the future. I'm feeling like money could be attached to this person in some sort of way, whether or not they have money, <clears throat> savings, or there's some sort of business deal that this individual could be, um, that you could be dealing with them in regards to, because I'm feeling like they're not very creative, but you may deal with them because you're creative. So I'm picking up actually a lot of different stuff. So. <laughs> clearly but I'm getting something about creation in the public eye here so we'll see it, it could be uh, both an air sign and a water sign or I'm just getting like somebody two minds coming together to create create something that has to do with words this would be viewed publicly so yeah yeah so I think it has several meanings going on some of you will resonate with all of them in different aspects or just one. All right, so let's go ahead and get the current energy for Leo, okay? So how are you feeling right now, Leo? Let me sh show me how you are feeling. Current energy for Leo. How is Leo feeling right now, please? Show me. <clears throat> oh, okay, well. Are you feeling interesting so there's something that you're worrying about however those around you that deal with you probably have no idea on the outside that you're worried about this because it looks like you're in fact I want to say that you're pretty social you're pretty direct um, yeah you look you look fine here you're coming up in your element king of wands here you are um, really embracing your energy outwardly, okay? But there's something else going on here. You, it's like you're in conflict about something. You could be losing sleep or with this Nine of Swords, I'm just getting like, <clears throat> either you're in conflict with something personally or you could be bothered by the conflict going on around you in the world right now. Some of you could be, I'm picking up, like, some of you could be very much um, feeling personally affected by the chaos. And um, for some of you, it's like the rioting and stuff. What, whatever, this won't resonate for everybody, but I am getting a, a sense of worry, a sense of loss of sleep over, like, I don't know what to do about this thing. It's this conflict or this conflict that I feel. Uh, let's get some more details about this Nine of Swords for how Leo's feeling, please. What's going on here? <sighs> hmm. So, 
some some of you could be uh, I want to say mourning the loss of a partner or you know for some of you this could be a twin a sibling somebody that felt very kindred to you now if you did not lose this person like actually lose them um, you could be worried that you might I'm sensing that it would be more the masculine energy that would be worried about this um, for some of you this could be a partnership of some sort it doesn't have to be romantic because I was not asking about romance specifically but there is some sort of connection that seems to be weighing on your mind get uh, clarify this queen of wands here what's this queen of wands here Ooh, okay oh yes okay so there's for some of you some of you may have seen something or you will see something There's also, there's something toxic about your home or, or um, something being done in a home or a partnership. Again, this could be business. I'm, I'm picking up though a very, this is, it's very heartbreaking energy. Something is bothering you about a living situation, a partnership, a connection. Um, I feel like somebody here is very drawn to this. They feel stuck, like they don't know how to get out. Um, and for some of you, this could be stuck to a memory of something that happened in the home. What is this devil here? What is this devil here for Leo? Okay, all right, I'm getting... Um, I'm getting an, uh, an addictive behavior. This could vary, or a fixating, somebody who has a fixation issue, or it, uh, whatever it is, it, it's, it's in the home. Like the devil is in the home here. That's what I wanna say. Some of, it's like I keep wanting to say somebody's haunted. Somebody could be haunted by something. A negative energy or it, I'm not getting memories here, but I am getting, I'm not getting, I, what I mean is I'm not getting any specific cards that tell me memories, but that's what I wanna say. Like there's something, I don't, Mm. Some of you may need to think about perhaps, because I'm getting like drinking here. I'm getting, or, or it could be some sort of other, it's just done in excess and it's causing a lot of pain in this household or in this connection or in this dynamic partnership, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> It's very karmic energy as well. Yeah, what is going on here? You know, you could feel like there's been a lot of time put into something that you've been working on. Maybe this is implementing in your life ideas because I am getting, again, I'm getting back to creation, but there's something disappointing about it. It's almost like there's too many options on the table or you're not satisfied 
with the way something has turned out. So this could lead to I don't know I'm getting like some of you could have a toxic person that's staying with you or will come to stay with you shortly they may have an addictive problem okay so if you don't if this none of this is making sense to you you may be on the lookout for this they could be a family member or just somebody that you're you know I, I want to say genetically related to um, or just very close with kindred spirit but this will cause you heartbreak because they will hide things from you I'm just sensing like once you let this person in you may have trouble getting them out so yeah what else is going on for Leo please yeah it's almost like you're not really sure what to do There could be someone in your life that you feel like their behavior could cause, you're, you're like worried about their well-being, their health, um, but you're not really sure how to handle this individual because they're in a very repetitive mindset. So, yeah, like that all needs to fall apart. I am getting that there will be some shattering, I, I want to say shattering of illusions, breakthroughs in the mind, and this could be um, a lot because of a loss or, of some sort or somebody becoming ill. Again, I don't feel like this is necessarily, um, you seem pretty strong. You came out very strong. I feel like you could be burdened by other people at this time that you're dealing with, you know? Um, and ultimately, I think you're going to have to decide, you know, in whatever the situation this resonates for you, you're going to need to defend your happiness and what it is that you want, what makes you happy here. Because I think there's <clears throat> something you're dealing with in your life that doesn't necessarily, well, it's drowning, it's sinking. So it's it will pull down anything, it, kind of like a sinking ship is what I'm getting. So whoever this is to you or whatever this is, because again, it's not specifically love, but there is a counterpart, you know, a kindred spirit that is definitely weighing heavy on your mind right now. Yeah. All right. Um... Before I close it off, let me just get some advice, please, for Leo. Um, they're saying continue to be strong. I feel like Yeah. You have the strength to get through this and deal with this, whatever this is to you, um, by as long as you keep sight of following your passion and your purpose and what matters, I wouldn't, tr I would try not to worry too much or let things get in the way from pursuing that, whatever that is for you. That's the message I'm getting because I am feeling a very strong pull energy that could be trying to bring you down, but they're saying that you're strong enough to deal with this and to pull through. You actually could be the strength in this scenario, whether or not you know it. Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye-bye.